Keola Dev Ghana National Park derives its name from an old Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva which is located at the center of the park formerly known as the Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary this amazing place is one of the finest sanctuaries on the planet Keola Dev National Park and UNESCO World Heritage Site is situated in eastern Rajasthan It's a mosaic of dry grassland, woodlands, woodland swamp and wetlands. No wonder this diverse man-made and man-managed habitat is home to 366 bird species, which includes over 230 residents. Every year in the winter, this park is visited by thousands of migratory waterfowl while the residents breed here. Not only birds, this amazing place is equally rich with 27 mammalian species that includes the nilgai or blue bull, cheetah deer, sambar deer, wild boar, porcupine, mongoose, golden jackal and so on. The spot billed duck derived its name from the red spot at the base of the bill this bird doesn't migrate this large dabbling duck is found throughout freshwater wetlands in the indian subcontinent The common coot is the most numerous species in the park. Both adults are similar with their black plumage and a pale pinkish white bill. They're very common on lakes, ponds and rivers and their territorial fights are famous and spectacular. This species is found in Europe, Asia, Australia and Africa and recently in New Zealand. They're resident in warm climates. and only migrates if the climate is hard The aptly named northern shoveler has a shovel shaped bill that quickly sets it apart from other dabbling ducks. They forage in shallow wetlands, coastal marshes, rice fields and lakes with their heads down in the water, busily sweeping their bills, filtering out aquatic invertebrates and plant seeds. Garwals are medium-sized streamlined ducks with molted brown and black body plumage. They're common winter visitors in India, traveling halfway across the globe from its home in Europe and North America. They prefer freshwater reedy marshes, lakes and other such low water bodies for quick availability of food. bar-headed goose the summer habitat is high altitude lakes where the bird grazes on short grass the species has been reported as migrating south from tibet kazakhstan mongolia and russia before crossing the himalayas they migrate over the himalayas to spend the winter in parts of south asia from assam to as far south as tamil nadu George Lowe, the New Zealand-born climber, 
who supported Edmund Hillary in Tenzing Norgay's ascent in 1953, said he had seen these geese flying over the top of Mount Everest. The peak is approximately 29,000 feet. The reedy marshes and swamps of the park provides perfect environment for a domestic hen-sized bird, vibrant purple in color with a red patch on its head. This is the purple moorhen. They clumsily move around with the unusually long legs flickering its tail at every step. The male is vibrant purple in color and the female a little duller with a grayish purple plumage. They forage on mollusks, water beetles and plum shoots. I found this couple of black-headed ibis vigorously digging in the grassland to feed on insects. They are primarily carnivorous with a diet that includes frogs, snails, worms, and even snakes and crustaceans. Bharatpur is one of those few places where you can see the tallest flying birds. The Saurus crane stands up to 156 cm tall with a wingspan of 240 cm. Only found in India and some places of Nepal, the species is known to mate for life with a single partner. Sadly though, Due to habitat loss, poisoning, human disturbance, collision with power lines and changes in agricultural practices, the species is now marked as vulnerable in the IUCN Red List, with only 15 to 20,000 individuals left in the wild. There are not many places where you can come this close to a wild animal while they are in their natural habitat. In most forest safaris, one has to travel in specialized vehicles for obvious reasons. Bharatpur is one of those magical places that offers you access on foot or you can just rent a bicycle. While shooting for birds when this spectacular golden jackal caught my sight. It was feeding on a carcass. In India, golden jackals are found in Kutch Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Haryana. They can also be spotted in the Bandhavgarh and Bandipur National Park. The park was established as a national park in 1981. Earlier, it was a private duck shooting ground of the Maharajas of Bharatpur. Duck shoots were organized yearly in honor of British viceroys. 
the last big shoot was held in 1964. Since then, no hunter have ever shot a bird here. Thousands of birds use this park in course of their migration. This man-made habitat has immense importance in conservation of migratory waterfowls, resident birds, and other animals. Unlike any other place, the range of birds and animals this place has to offer is unique. This trip to Bharatpur would not have been successful without two person so I would like to thank them Anushwa Biswas Raha my fellow birder who planned this trip and roamed around the park tirelessly from dawn to dusk with me without complaining about anything and last but not the least Mr Sher Singh our guide without whom we could not have spotted a good number of species including my favorite owls and the saurus cranes <laughs>